Hi folks Mason here. I thought I would touch on a very important degree now that your interest have propelled you to more light. The fellow craft degree in Freemasonry, let's start with the oath. Remember all states are a little different. I, full name, of my own free will and accord, in the presence of Almighty God, and this worshipful lodge, erected to him, and dedicated to the holy saints John, do hereby and hurry on, most solemnly and sincerely promise and swear that I will always hail, and ever conceal, and never reveal any of the secret arts, parts, or points of the fellow craft degree to any person whomsoever, except it be to a true and lawful brother of this degree, or in a regularly constituted lodge of fellow crafts, nor unto him or them until, by strict trial, due examination, or lawful information, I shall find him, or them, as lawfully entitled to the same as I am myself. I furthermore promise and swear that I will stand to, and abide by, all the laws, rules, and regulations of the fellow craft degree, as far as the same shall come to my knowledge. Further, I will acknowledge and obey all due signs and summons sent to me from a lodge of fellow crafts, or given me by a brother of that degree, if within the length of my cable toe. Further, that I will aid and assist all poor, distressed, worthy fellow crafts, knowing them to be such, as far as their necessities may require, and my ability permit, without any injury to myself. Further, that I will not cheat, wrong, nor defraud a brother of this degree, knowingly, nor supplant him in any of his laudable undertakings. All this I most solemnly promise and swear with a firm and steadfast resolution to perform the same, without any hesitation, mental reservation, or self-evasion of mind whatever, binding myself under no less penalty than of having my breast torn open. My heart plucked out, and placed on the highest pinnacle of the temple should I ever knowingly violate the fellow craft obligation. So help me God, and keep me steadfast in the due performance of the same. The worshipful master then states, you will detach your hand, and kiss the book on which your hand rests, which is the Holy Bible. Candidate kisses the book once. Worshipful master states in your present condition, what do you most desire? The candidate, prompted by his conductor, answers more light in masonry. Then brethren, you will stretch forth your hands, and assist me in bringing our brother to light. Here all the brethren place their hands in the form of the fellow craft. Worshipful master states let the brother receive light. Here all the brethren place their hands in the form of the fellow craft. Worshipful master states let the brother receive light. For, as the first degree was typical of youth, the second is supposed to represent the stage of manhood, and hence the acquisition of science is made its prominent characteristic. While the former is directed in all its symbols and allegorical ceremonies to the purification of the heart, the latter is intended by its lessons to train the reasoning faculties and improve the intellectual powers. Before the 18th century, the great body of the fraternity consisted of fellow crafts, who are designated in all the old manuscripts as fellows. After the revival in 1717, the fellow crafts, who then began to be called by that name, lost their prominent position, and the great body of the brotherhood was, for a long time, made up altogether of apprentices, while the government of the institution was committed to the masters and fellows, both of whom were made only in the Grand Lodge until 1725, when the regulation was repealed, and subordinate lodges were permitted to confer these two degrees. Source. Mackey's Encyclopedia of Freemasonry Fellowcraft as the entered apprentice degree as a whole is symbolic of infancy and youth, a period of learning fundamentals, a beginning, so the Fellowcraft degree is emblematic of manhood. But it is a manhood of continued schooling, of renewed research, of further instruction. The Fellowcraft has passed his early Masonic youth, but he lacks the wisdom of age which he can attain only by use of the teachings of his first degree, broadened, strengthened, added to, by those experiences which come to men as distinguished from children. Of the many symbols of this degree three stand out beyond all others is most beautiful and most important. They are the brazen pillars, the flight of winding stairs as a means of reaching the middle chamber by the teachings of the three, the five, and the seven steps, and the letter, G, and all that it means to the Freemason. Pause equals point five zero. Very obviously the Fellowcraft degree is a call to learning an urge to study, a glorification of education, to whom we are indebted for much of the present form of this degree, 
evidently intended it as a foundation for that liberal education which in its classic form was so esteemed by the educated of 17th and 18th century England. The explanations of the five orders of architecture, the five senses and the seven liberal arts and sciences no longer embrace the essentials of a first-class education, but think not less of the degree on that account, since it is to be understood symbolically, not literally, as the great Masonic scholar may have intended. While the degree contains moral teaching and a spiritual content only surpassed by that of the sublime degree, as a whole it is a call to books and study. Folks this is the end of part 1 of the fellow craft please hit the subscribe below.